Today, we're gonna be making my, uh, mm, oatmeal and honey soap. Um, this is one of my best sellers on my website, and my girl is hungry. <laughs> Anyways, so, that's what I'm getting ready to do, right? So I already like to speed this whole, wait a minute. Okay, so to speed this whole situation up, I already um, pre, what you call it? Pre-measured the oils, right? So, this is olive oil. So in my recipe, I use olive oil, shea butter. Wait, maybe I should zoom it in. Hold on. I guess that's, that should be cool. Yes. So in my recipes, I use. So in my recipe, I use olive oil, right here. Um, sunflower oil, which is right here. And uh, uh, shea butter, right here. And coconut oil, which I gotta, it's over there, it's in some hot water because when I put it in the bag, it solidified because it was kinda cold. So anyways, let's put the junk in here. Not the junk, you know what I'm talking about. So let's put the shea butter. Because I didn't pre-melt the butters down, I tried to melt. I try. I was trying to melt the coconut oil. This is the coconut oil. I was trying to melt it, but as you can see, it ain't. It's still gonna be pretty solid. But that's okay. I'm gonna use the heat transfer method. And if you don't know what that is, that's when you you like you don't use um you let your oh gosh I'm all tongue tied you use hot lye like you let you don't let your lye cool down some people um let their lye cool down before they use it but when you're using a heat transfer method which is um we got butters and all that or if you want your soap to cook you can um use the heat transfer method and I like to use when I'm trying to use the heat transfer method I like to use a stainless steel bowl because it holds the heat in there instead of using a plastic bowl which don't really you know hold the heat in it but then I like my um I like my oatmeal soap to kind of cook too like so it can I don't know I just like to cook so this is the other bag of coconut oil. Ooh. This video gonna be quick to watch. Because you halfway through the video once you do this because you already pre-measured your stuff. Huh? No, don't touch that. Put the water, take the water out and then like what rinse your fingers. 
You could dump the water out, just rinse your fingers off. That's that's a lot. I was trying to get the remainder of it out of the um out of it. 